we brought you a fresh bubbly drink today that is sure to brighten your new year. Wake me up, wake me up, I'm trying to find my way, find my way into the brand new day. So to get this started, we have a rough chop here of one cup of figs, and I've already put a little bit of water in the pot to get it boiling. If you can't find the figs, you can always use a fig jam as well. We have some brown sugar. So brown sugar is gonna be great for this. It's gonna be a little more full bodied than a regular sugar. It's gonna bring out a little bit different sweetness than what we're used to in cocktails. And we're just gonna let those break down a little bit, let the heat take over, and just let this kind of thicken up. So we've made our brown sugar fig syrup. Now it's time to salt that syrup. The salting is just gonna help. It's gonna add a little texture to the drink. It's also just gonna bring out some of those flavors. We're ready to make our cocktail. We're using Caso Migas. We're using the rare Posado. And this, uh, this Caso Migas, obviously, was George Clooney's uh, his favorite tequila. So this, this is a lot like George. You know, it's got a little age to it. It's kind of fancy. So lots of great caramel flavors. We're just going to use an ounce and a half of this. I'm sure George goes with two. George, you see this, give us a call. We'll, we'll have you on. We'll make a drink. So Saint Germain is kind of considered the bartender's ketchup. Wonderful flavor, it smells like elderberry and elderflowers. It really reminds you that the new year is starting off. So we're just going with about a half an ounce of our, our salted fig brown sugar syrup that we made here. For this, we need half an ounce of lemon juice. The acid is just gonna bring all this together. It's gonna blend really nice with the sugar. It's gonna pull those flavors, that caramel out of that tequila, and we'll get those floral notes in there. We're just gonna give this a shake for about 10 seconds till it's nice and chilled. So you might be wondering, saying, hey, wait a minute, we have all these ingredients here and we forgot the Prosecco. Well, we don't want to add a Prosecco into the shaker. So we do that, we're gonna end up with a huge mess and we're gonna start our new year off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Anywhere from two to six ounces is perfect. It's New Year's, let's indulge a little bit. Let's go a little extra. So we're gonna go ahead and take our knife here and be very careful. We're just gonna make a nice little peel around. Now we'll give this a twist over the top there to get the juices into the drink. Cheers to a new year and a new you. Until next time, this is The Beard Behind the Bar, signing off. Say welcome to the